Well, hello everybody and welcome to Makeup for Dummies. Okay, so what I'm going to be doing today, and happy Monday by the way, I'm going to be doing a quick try to make it like around a five minute makeup look. And I'm going to be using um, some products from some companies that you don't really hear about too much anymore. It's pre predominantly like one, com um, one company. And that company is Chanel. Okay. Remember that little emblem? Okay. So, and I'm going to be using the little brushes that come in the little cases. Like, for instance, little old palette like this. I don't know if they sell things like this anymore. Remember little old palettes like this? And it would come with a little brush. Little teeny brushes like this. You know, back in the day... They didn't have the fancy makeup brushes. You use little things like this. And when you wanted to put your blush on, you had to use, it, it would come with a little, you know, you didn't have the big fancy brushes. So I just want to do my makeup um, just using the old school type little things that they give you. Um, so let's just get started. Um, and I'm going to be chewing gum because it's ASMR style. So let's go. Now, what I'm going to be doing, now back in the day, they didn't require, you know, you didn't know anything about putting on moisturizer first before you apply your makeup. When you put lotion on your face, you just put lotion on your face just because you didn't want to be ashy. You know, when you was growing up, when you were going out the door, you know, your mom would always make sure you had, well, back then it was Vaseline. You know, she would shine your face up really good with Vaseline. And I even did it too with my older children who are grown now. But um, now they say you apply it before you put on your makeup. So I'm applying it just because back in the day, you just put lotion on your face. Um, and what I'm going to do is I have some Chanel foundation. And I'm going to be using that. Taint Innocence by Chanel. Okay? So I'm going to put lotion on my face. And then we're going to get started. So this is going to be very quick. Lotion on. And you know, they didn't have such things as, you know, fixing up your eyebrows and stuff. You put your lotion on and you, you, you know how you would just take your, your hands and just do like this. And when you were little, if you was going out the door, your mom would, you know, you know, lick a little thing and brush your little eyebrows over. If you had a little toothpaste on your face, you know, she would lick a thing and wipe it. Oh my God, I used to hate that. But yeah, that's how we did it back then. You just took your hands and fixed your eyebrows. You didn't cut them. You didn't shape them. You didn't do any. You didn't brush them up. You took your hands and did, did things. So we're going to do old school to that. Now, what I what I don't have is... Uh, um, um, remember the puff powders back in the day? The little puff powder things? You used to get them like when you used to wear the um, perfume powders and it would be in a round container with a little puff thing and you would just puff it on yourself. Well, they also had little round makeup uh, sponges. They were called powder puffs. And you would use that to apply your foundation and your powders and stuff. You didn't have, you know, all the fancy brushes. So I'm just going to put that on my hand and apply it like lotion. So this is just like a quick look without all the stuff that, you know, they, that they do now. They Okay, you just want a little cover it. Now you could either mix your foundation with the moisturizer or you could just put it on just the way that I did just now. Okay, I'm just going to wipe my hands off really quick being as though I used my hands. So it's kind of like using old school stuff. I'm not using any new school products or, you know, things like brushes and things. Okay, now, if I had a powder puff, I would have put that foundation on with that. So, now, for setting powder, I showed you this already. Um, this is in the color tan, okay? Now, you can see I've had it a while. It's hit pan, but it came with a brush. Now, of course, I'm sorry, that's my bird. <laughs> it came with this kind of brush. Now, usually we would use a big powder brush. But I'm going to use old school stuff. And I'm just going to go over my face 
using the old school stuff that that came with the products. And this just takes the shine off of it. That's all. going to be a quick little five minute ordeal so let me hurry up now i'm not going to do any kind of primer on my eyes whatever got on my eyes from from the um foundation that's it so i'm going to take this palette now, i don't know how old well i mean i've had this palette a while it's called perfusion i don't know how old that is but it's an old palette to me but I'm using like the old school little thing just to apply my shadow. You didn't have all those fancy brushes and, you know, you just use these little things that came right in the, in the pack. And you did your, your you know, your eyeshadows. Oh, so, that's what I'm going to do. Did not use foundations and all that kind of stuff. And I guess you didn't really have that fallout issue because with these little sponges, it kind of soaks up your product as opposed to the brushes where you would have to tap it off. Well, these little sponges just kind of soaks it up, so you don't have to you don't have to worry about fallout and all that kind of stuff that you you know that you hear about now. Makeup back then was was very simple and easy, you know. Use your hands if you made a mistake. <laughs> so for those of you who are new, welcome to my channel. Okay, so I just applied some, I don't know if that was white or silver, but it was the color that I needed to match because I'm, I'm color coordinated. <laughs> okay, now I'm just going to take, you know, back in the day, now they have liquid liners and all that. But back then, you just use a regular old pencil to line your eyes. Okay? I'm using one hand because I got to hold the mirror to do it. I don't really have a mirror sitting up where I can just do it without, you know. So, I'm just going to do it like this. And you just took a pencil and you lined your eyes. You did not do the water line and all that kind of stuff. It was one line. Back then, you didn't hear about no water lines and all that kind of stuff. Now you got to put eyeliner on your liner area and then do your water line. I don't like doing the water line. I love the way it looks when people do it, but I personally don't do it. It seems like it gets in my eyes or something. Okay, so yeah, you just take a pencil back in the day and, and did what you had to do. Now, of course, they didn't do inner eye tear duct type things. You know, when you were amateur uh, makeup artists who just did a little makeup at home. You ain't know nothing about no inner eye tear duct and all that. But um, I'm going to do my little inner eye tear duct. I'm going to add that in there just because I like the look of it. I just It just makes your eyes pop. Who knew about making your eyes pop back in the day? You didn't know anything about that kind of stuff. Where did they come, come up with all this new stuff? I've adapted to the new stuff, but it's like, really? Where did they do that at? <laughs> oh, there I go. Pumping it. Don't do that, please. It's a habit. I'm sorry. So I'm just going to do my little mascara. You know, back in the day, I remember my mom used to use Maybelline mascara, you know, it was, a, it was, I don't know if the bottom part was green and the top was yellow. No, the bottom part was green and the top was pink. That's all I've ever seen my mom with. Now, this is how you did it. You didn't do all of this kind of stuff. 
that I'm doing now. And you definitely didn't do, do anything with your bottom lashes. Like, what's that? <laughs> bottom lashes just kind of did their own thing. You didn't mess with them. But I'm going to mess with them just for the purposes of the video. But I just wanted to show like some little old school stuff from back in the day. You just didn't have all the products and different things now that they have out now. Okay. So you did that. And then you took some blush and you used... Got my blush. It's always got to be something that I forget. So I'm sorry. Excuse me, y'all. Grab some blush really quick. Just gonna grab some blush here. I'm sorry about that. But this is real life. <laughs> um, yeah. See, these little brushes came in the blush little things. So you didn't have the big. Um, blush brushes. You had to use these little things and just do what you did. Yep, it came right with it. Now you have to buy those sets of brushes and those brushes can get very, very expensive if you really, you know, want to get like the, I guess the professional kind or whatever. See? You just put that back in there and it was easier to carry makeup with you if you needed to carry it with you. Like you didn't have all that stuff that they have now. Okay. Now, um, I am going to, now, back then, oh, I can actually put my glasses on now. Like, I'm, I'm literally done. I just need to do my lips. Um, back then, you, um, I'm going to use this for my lips, this little teeny one. They had wet and wild make um, lipstick. That was the only kind of lipstick that I would go for. I mean, I would just go in the little whatever beauty store. And it didn't quite look like this, but it was always the black containers. And it would always have numbers on it. Wet and wild went by numbers. That's how you knew what color to get. So if you saw somebody with a color that you like, they would give you a number. Um, so I do have some wet and wild lipsticks. They didn't change it now. It's not even black anymore. But it does say wet and wild on there. And it does still have the numbers at the bottom, but just a little bit different. Um, but I'm going to line my lips. But, um, that's just something that I love. Just gotta remember not to cover myself up with the mirror. Um, and then you know, for lip moisturizer, you would just use a chapstick. I mean, it was just simple back then. It was very simple. And I'm gonna use a new uh, lip. Like I said, these are the old Wet n Wilds. I just wanted to show you all. But I bought this from Family Dollar. It's the LA Color Shine Shea Butter Lip Gloss. And I have no idea what color it is because it doesn't say. But I just know that when I looked at it, I was just like, wow. Like, really? I love that. Oh, there I go pumping again. I apologize. I know the do better, but it's it's a habit. Like, I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> that and it has a gloss to it mm, I totally love that it has a nice little sponge brush that I like okay so there there you have it. And your makeup was done. Like, really? Now, I was talking a little bit, but come on. Like, really? How long did it take? See? <laughs> that was it. And, um, 
Okay, so let me just show you a little something else that I got uh, the other day. I bought a great big black eye pencil. Now, I guess if you wanted to use it as a black lipstick, you could just color your lips in. Or you can use it as an eyeliner, or you could use it as an uh, eyeshadow. I just thought that was nice. LA Colors uh, Jumbo Pencil. Okay. And then I showed you all a liner, um, a stiff liner that I had got the other day, but it was lavender, like a purple lavender color. Well, I found it in black because I actually like it. So this is another one that I got. It's an LA Colors Refix Eyeliner. And, and these were only a dollar at the family dollar. I mean, you can buy makeup um, at the Dollar Tree or at Family Dollar and still look beautiful, okay? You do not have to spend um, a whole heap of money on makeup just to look beautiful. I mean, it's just like, I, I'm sorry, I just don't spend $40 or $50 on a palette. And I can still have beautiful palettes. Like, really? <laughs> I mean, it, you don't have to spend a lot of money to look beautiful. And the Dollar Tree nowadays have um, name brand stuff. Um, like they have um, they have Revlon now. They have Milani, which is my favorite. Milani is a very good... I love Milani's um, makeup line. I truly do. Um, but I just wanted to show you all some other stuff really quick. Now, I bought this. Remember this back in the day since we doing a little old school stuff. This came, this, they had this in a plastic um, time, 15, 16 minutes in. Um, but I'm like, wow, this is way back to the old school stuff. And the reason I got it is because when you're doing your twist outs, like when you wear, when you have natural hair and you want to do your twist outs, or for me, I just put, you know, put, y'all know I did my hair um, routine. You can go back to the archive video and watch how I do my hair. But if you really want to like lift it up and make it like a little puffier, you could just kind of stick your comb through it and just kind of lift it. Don't comb through it, but just lift it. That's what I bought this comb for. See how I'm lifting it up? See how much that lifts up? Especially once it's dry. Once your hair dry, you can really lift it up and get yourself a nice puff on it. And then this will be good for my daughter when I do her twist outs because I have problems trying to get it to, you know, sit up really high because I'll be trying to use my fingers when in reality you need a pick. It could be a plastic one, but I think this metal one is, is great. See, I can just lift my hair. See how much bigger that is just by lifting it up? Like I said, you don't want to comb through it. You just stick the comb through it and just lift it. And that gives you like a bigger puff effect if that's what you want. Okay? So, yeah. Back in the, and back in the day, they used to stick their combs in their head. They used to have colors on it, and they would stick their comb in their head and wear it. <laughs> the guys, you know, with the big bushes. Um, also, I got some ponds. Um, this is supposed to be dark spot correcting cream. So, I wanted to try that out. It was only like $1.69. So that wasn't too bad. And I found this at the, um, now I usually get my lotion from the Dollar Tree, but I noticed that Family Dollar has the same stuff for a dollar. I usually get this kind. This works excellent. I've pulled this before, but then I saw where it came in a pump. And I'm like, wow, wonderful. I don't have to squeeze it anymore, especially when it gets low. So I bought it because it was in a pump. So. And this back in the day was a good, this was the type of um, lotion that they would recommend. Dermatologists would recommend this for people who had eczema or dry skin or any of that kind of stuff. They would recommend stuff, uh, soap like this. It's a dry skin treatment original lotion, Derma. So this was a very expensive lotion back in the day. You couldn't pay no dollar for no lotion like this back in the day. You just couldn't. So that's why I say the Dollar Tree and Family Dollar type stores, they have a lot of things. Um, that are name brand that you can get. Um, also, if I guess for those of you who like to like do like little quick wipes of your makeup brushes with alcohol, I found an alcohol that comes in a pump. You know, alcohol usually come in a you know a square bottle, 
it has a perp on it. And I thought, wow, I love that. Because I use alcohol or like when my kids get scrapes and stuff, I like to use peroxide. It comes in a pump. How nice is that to, to be able to spray your kid's wound with a pump as opposed to pouring the peroxide in the top and trying to make sure it go on the little sore. So I thought that was kind of neat. Okay. But yeah, I know some people clean their makeup brushes with alcohol. So I was just like, well, that, that's perfect. Like little quick cleanup, clean uh, um, I guess, I suppose. And then some little pure eyes. You know, eye drops. Because sometimes when I wear eye makeup, sometimes it feels like, especially like mascara, sometimes it feels like something's in my eye and I just put like some eye drops in it and it just kind of washes it or clean, clean, cleans it out. So that's why I purchased this um, as well. And then some uh, bar soap. And also, I wanted to show this. Now, um, I was showing you all when I did my um, video talking about vaginal odor and stuff like that. And I had talked about the fact that before I started using liquid soap, I used to use um, bar soap. But the only kind of bar soap that I used to use, it had to be either the white sensitive dove bar or caress. Now, the reason why I'm showing this, I bought this from Family Dollar. It was only like three something. Um, but the reason why I'm showing this, the, the little Family Dollar thing is covered. But this is caress. But I noticed that this caress, this kind of caress, the liquid kind, is not quite like the bar kind. Okay? I think this is more perfumey. Um, and it might affect you if you are very sensitive because like I said, I had no issues with caress bar soap. Um, and I can't say I have issues with this because I did use it for the first time today. Um, and I like it and it smells good. It doesn't quite smell as good as the bar caress soap smells. I mean, I'm, I miss my caress and my dove so much. I think I'm going to go back to bar soap just because. But I thought I could get away with it because I'm on liquid soap now. But this is not like the um, uh, the bars. It smells good. It smells really nice. Um, but it's not like the bars. But it's called Caress Daily Silky. I'm sorry that that little tag is covering it. But it, it says Caress right there. Um, and the same with the Dove one that I showed. And it says for sensitive skin. That smells really nice. And I told you it's very slippery. But it's, but it's not as good as the bar. In my opinion. The bars are better, and I, and I think, like I said, I think these liquid soaps have more, more things in them that could bother your skin as opposed to the bar kind. So I just wanted to throw that out there, and that's just my experience. So, Okay, well, I hope you all enjoyed my little um, old school, somewhat of a kind of old school video showing old school ways of doing things. And um, I will see you all on my next uh, video. Make sure you hit subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And make sure you share my videos. Okay? All right. Bye-bye now.